The Daily Wire has finally done it. They've crossed the line. This is outrage. This is outrageous. How dare the Daily Wire make a mid 2000s comedy about ridiculous things that most people don't care about? How dare they? We'll take a look at this trailer, find out why it's misogynistic and phobic of every shape, flavor, and color, and everything you could possibly ever think of. We're going to take a look at it. Please don't be offended. Because I have some people who will chime in who will educate us as we go along. Let's take a look. In a world where women's sports is being transformed. Excuse me? How dare you? Ridiculous. The Daily Wire calls foul with the most triggering comedy of the year. I'm already triggered. That dude couldn't beat anybody. What? Guys, this is serious. Sports can be your pathway to a better life. Well, like yours? <laughs> Please don't steal my catalytic converter again. Winning matters. It's the key ingredient in becoming a winner. <laughs> what I don't get is, how, I guess um, Daily Wire uh, CEO, the God Emperor, is directing and starring in this himself. And I thought comedies were dead. So Jeremy Boring is, is going to be the star of this. I am very confused. But I will point out, though, I do think it's important that we get more better perspectives, more educated perspectives. Back to mid-2000s comedies called Lady Ballers. And what we're going to do in this video is just look at the description of this, go through the trailer, give a little trailer review. I'm like that sort of channel now. And then just like, just talk about why it doesn't even work, even from the trailer and how even the premise is just so unfunny. You know, a male basketball team identifying as female so they can win basketball games. And of course, the irony isn't lost on me. These are the types of people who cry about films being political. Films indoctrinating people. Yes. This is all truth. I guess throwback to mid 2000s. Speak the truth. Because I am triggered. Try it sometime. Are you gonna move? I am not. Oh my god, yes. Let's cut to the chase. That I bigot deserves that. Hey, you don't know how he identifies. If you can beat them. What do you know about the US Opens for the Global Games? You want us to compete as women. $5,000 prizes. My lover says you were a great coach back in the day. Join. This is the way the world is now. My eight year old daughter told me all about it. So a guy can become a girl with no physical changes at all. Oh. So I can be a woman on the court and a man in... No, how dare you? This is ridiculous. How dare any of you speak this way? This is crazy. Because if you actually do take the best female football players and compare them to a lot of male players, they are just as talented, if not better. You have to ask the question... Just as talented, if not football better. football was as popular as men's football... And if there was as much investment in the development of players... If it was only as popular, if the WNBA was only as popular as men's basketball, it would be better. Superior, if you will. Because none of them are trying to be better than anyone else. They're just trying to be the best that they can be. There's clearly no physical differences. Just let them all compete. That's what I say. Everybody. In the bedroom, I can't believe it. Nice! You mean when you're sleeping? Yes. Coach? Alex. We, we could play, play basketball. basketball. We'd have to get the whole team back together. It's time. We're in. I'm in. I'm in. To play. Lady Baldur. Mount up. Like a girl. That's right. I'm with her. Oh! Believe in my 
this is going to end well. Heroes. Day one of being a girl athlete. <laughs> I love being a girl. Two sheroes. We could dominate every woman's sport. So offensive. I cannot explain to you how offensive this is. But perhaps this guy can. As men's football, would there really be such a discrepancy between them? Let's see, what this right trailer really plays into is like these massive, really muscly men suddenly competing in women's sports and pretending to be women. The premise is absurd, and that seems to be the only joke as well, that haha, look at- We have three kids, they're all boys. Oh of no! Lots of boy energy, and that's why we like to ski. We can, you know, they're outside. Get that energy out. Look at this, look at these, look at these dudes with beards, massive muscles who are like six foot three, uh, all pretending to identify as women just to win sports like okay let's have a look at the trailer let's have a look because also what, what i wasn't prepared for i was, was not prepared a healthy dose of racism as oh well. my so god so much racism in a world so <laughs> much racism i am totally offended this is an outrage no one can make comedies anymore this is not a thing comedy all comedy needs to stop and be policed i am calling the Vice President of the United States upon to end all comedy right now. No more jokes. It's not funny. How dare you make fun of people who don't have the same advantages that you do. I'm highly concerned. I can't even talk about this anymore. I can't even finish the trailer. It's too much. It's too much. I can't handle it. I, I can't even. I don't know what you're going to do. I'm going to have to watch it on your own to decide if it ending your life the way it's ending mine so anyway let me know what you think in the comments below is this the end of everything is this the worst thing you've ever seen or is it just satire or what i don't know you're gonna have to figure it out but i'm clearly on to the next one